of the various ways one might describe creation, my favorite is found in the first Genesis creation story in the Hebrew Scriptures. There are, of course, two or even three, depending on how one looks at it, creation stories in Genesis, according to biblical scholars. I would be inclined, in fact, to say there are four, as I consider the story of the flood a kind of creation story as well. But the one that most captures my imagination is the first. It begins, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. The Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. The story goes on to describe successive stages of creation over the course of six primordial days, culminating with the creation of man and woman. I think I like this particular creation myth so much because it speaks of bringing order out of chaos, a kind of gentle imposition. The roiling waters of the void are calmed and put in their place. Time itself is given demarcation and formerly lifeless land is rendered verdant. As we move the lives with which we have been gifted. I wonder what part we might play in bringing about order in a world still, in many ways, beset by chaos. The chaos is different now, in a way, as so much of it is man-made. Our chaotic, often all too violent interactions between people and nations, or the chaotic, frequently abusive way in which we deal with nature. But then, perhaps the chaos isn't all that different. For though we forget it, humanity is a part of nature, and all of our ideas, all of our constructs, make up the human habitats. What is most wondrous to me is that as we carry the spark of divinity, we who are the children of the Creator, we are a part of what I believe to be the ongoing process of creation. We have an opportunity to bring about the order of peace to the chaos of violence through our works, and through our very lives. This improvisation has its, as its founding theme, Gustav Holst's tune, commonly known as Thoxted. It's the principal theme from the Jupiter movement of Holst's planets. Jupiter, as Holst envisioned him, was the bringer of joviality. And in my mind, there could be no greater cause for joviality than the creation of a world of peace. Giving credit where credit is due, I'll be playing a sample set by the Sonos Paradisi Corporation of the Rotterdam Lorenzkirk organ. The controlling console, which you might see behind me, is in fact an 1886 Mason and Hamlin two manual and pedal reed organ, the so called Franz Liszt model, restored and still entirely playable as a reed organ, but today serving solely as a controller for the sample set.